Yo, what's going on guys? Chris New Flakes here. For today's video, I am doing a rebuild for the Detroit Pistons. So if you guys saw my video yesterday, I did a rant about the Pistons. And if you guys enjoy those type of rants, uh, I have a lot to say this season, man. Like, I've been holding in. So over on my second channel, Extra Crispy, I'm going to be posting rants there all season, man. Giving my true opinions on NBA teams. Uh, I went into the Utah Jazz guys earlier today. So yeah, man. Detroit Pistons rebuild. Um... It's not going to be a super realistic one because I, I simply am just fed up with the team in general where I just don't have time to realistically build this team. I'll be sitting here for 20, you know, 20 seasons. Uh, so I am going to, I decide I'm going to build this team in my vision and just hope for the best there, man. So, you know, of course you got Andre Drummond out there at the center position. I'm, I'm about, I'm about fed up with them guys. Yeah, I know those, those are fantastic numbers, 21 points, 18 rebounds. But it's like it's not translating into wins. So it's like, is there better options out there? Blake Griffin, uh, he's been awesome this season, man. Like, Blake Griffin ain't going nowhere in this rebuild. He's sticking around throughout his contract. We got Reggie Jackson. I mean, yeah, up front, the, the the numbers look good. The 18 points, you know, like, Forrest, this is kind of trash. Uh, but then you get to the field goal percentage. It's like he's shooting, you know, 70 times a game to get to his 18 points. That's never really a good thing out there. You got Ish Smith out there. Uh, he's actually been really solid this season where it's like, if he had to be the starter over Reggie Jackson, I'd be okay with that. Zaza's been a nice addition. Uh, Reggie Bullock, you know, the shot's not really falling this season. He went from 45% to 25%. Damn, dude, that's like... Oh, I don't want to start there, man. Uh, Glenn Robinson, I don't really think he's done all that much this season. Okay, he's at about 11 points per game. So, uh, yeah, he's actually been not too bad out there. It's kind of a small sample size. Stanley Johnson, he, he's done. Like, if you don't get traded, he's at least going to the bench. He's not playing a single minute for the rest of this rebuild, guys, at all. Um, but yeah, so let's go with Trade Finder. I decided that, like, you know, I'm keeping Blake Griffin. Um, Andre Drummond, I'm, I'm kind of sick of him. So I might see what I can get for him via a trade. And we are just going to check this, this out here, man. I know if you're a Piston fan, you might be angry about this. But like I said, just trust me, guys. I'm building this team in the correct division right here. So we got Kevin Love trade. Uh, Goran Hayward actually wouldn't be too bad. I mean, you know, 87 overall player would bring some scoring to this team. But then again, you know, Andre Drummond on the Boston Celtics. Uh... I don't know how Celtic fans would feel about that. I know they don't really like Drummond all that much. Mike Conley, Touring Prince, Alex Lynn. Not too bad. We get a nice little small four out of it. It's not white. He's, he's almost as trash as Drummond is. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, KCP, Vucevic, and Evan Fournier gives us a good center and shooting guard. DeAndre Jordan. We got Paul Millsap, Tyreek Evans, Drew Holiday, Clint Capella, Rudy Gay, um, Andrew Wiggins, CJ McCollum, and Maurice Harkless. Okay, man. So this trade right here, I actually do like for two reasons. Um, because, like, realistically speaking, it's like, you know, the foreign trailblazers get the big-time center with Drummond out there. They also get a nice three-point shooter in Reggie Bullock. But, yeah, we get CJ McCollum on this team, who is a big-time scorer, adds a much-needed scoring guard to this team, which this team just really lacks at the guard position. Uh, I feel like him and Blake Griffin could be something nice out there, and we can kind of fill out the other positions as needed. So, I do like this trade a lot here, man. I'm going to trade Drummond for CJ McCollum, and I'm going to be happy about it. Got to add a trade exception, it looks like. And there we go, man. Maurice Harkless got like a two-year, $20 million contract. Kind of a bitch-ass contract, but I'm willing to take it on. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to improve at like the, probably the small forward position. I'm not too keen on Zaza being our starting center. But although at the same time, if he has to be, it, it is what it is. I would be okay with it, I guess. Not really, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try to trade Reggie for potentially a starting center. I'm going to toss in a future first-round draft pick and uh, to see what we can do with that, man. Like... Even an upgrade at point guard would be nice. Like, Robin Lopez first season, we also got top three protected Bulls draft pick. I mean, that's not too bad, actually, assuming the team just doesn't, like, tank completely. I kind of like that trade, actually, man. Like, Robin Lopez, ooh, <laughs> maybe not. Wow, he has not been good for the Bulls this season. We got Jordan Clarkson, uh, Lou Williams, Patrick Beverly, don't really need a shooting guard anymore. Kyle Anderson and Chandler Parsons. Ooh, that's a lot of bitch-assness right there, man, from, from a contract standpoint. First round pick, Alex Len. Uh, ooh. You know, I know I was just dogging a sound white side, but getting Josh Richardson makes it almost completely worth it. This dude playing like a star this season, and like a sound white side would be like, if you had a nice filler center, at least for the season, I don't plan on bringing him back. I don't think he's got an option after this. Oh, he does. He does have a player option. But even so, he's only 29. Uh, I know like stat-wise, um, he's been putting up the rebound numbers like Drummond. So it's like, yeah, we lose Drum, but we replace him with a guy that's rebounding nearly as good in three blocks per game. That might be the move, guys. Uh, Miles Bridge would be kind of cool to have. Ricky Rubio, Tim Hardaway, Harris Laverde. He's been having a great season for the Nets. Um, Julius Randle's cool, but no, man. I think I like that. I think I like that Heat trade for us. Um, and I, guys, I'm sorry, it's not realistic. Okay, I, I know, but like every now and then, I like to switch them. I don't always like to do the same type of rebuild. And this one, I just felt like for my stress to be released, 
uh, I needed to do this. So we are at another exception. All right, that's good. And then now all of a sudden, man, we're looking at Ish Smith, CJ McCollum, Josh Richardson, Blake Griffin, and Hassan Whiteside with Zaza, Glenn Robinson, Langston Galloway. Oh, yeah, Stanley got to go. Stanley's got to go. It, it would be nice if I can improve at the point guard position and have Ish off the bench, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. Um, Glenn Robinson, he can stick around his backup with small forwards. Let's do a trade of Stanley. I'm going to try to get rid of Maurice Harkless here. I don't know if it'll be possible. Then also a first round draft pick. Let's see what this gets us. Uh, Wilson Chandler and PJ, uh, PJ, TJ McC uh, McConnell. I'll see how I give up that first, though. TJ would be nice off the bench. Uh, Wilson Chandler as a 77 overall would bring the scoring to this team, at least. Denzel Washington, Robin Lopez, Larry Nance, Christian Thompson, uh, Avery Bradley, Patrick Beverly. I know Avery Bradley was once on this team before. Um, I actually like this trade a lot. Also, Patrick Beverly seems like he would be a nice addition to this team. Not really having a great season so far for the Clippers, but it is still pretty early on. I know he's coming off injury. But yeah, I think we probably uh, do a little bit better than that. Um, all right, all right. So we got some other stuff out here. I mean, Darren Collison brings us a starting caliber point guard at least. Tyus Jones, Jordan Bell. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so it's definitely between like this Wilson Chandler, TJ McConnell trade or bringing in Darren Collison for a season. Oh, we also got to take on Doug and Big Buckets. I really don't want to do that for three seasons. So yeah, man, I know Wilson Chandler not the greatest player anymore, but uh, for now, he's okay. And it frees up money after the offseason. It gives us a nice starting player for now. Oh, I'm sorry, a bench player for now, I should say. Yeah, Will Chandler off the bench. Uh, we got Ish Smith to be starting point guard. TJ McConnell, and then, you know, um, Glenn Robinson, Langston. I think I would probably play Glenn, Glenn Robinson. He can play a uh, multitude of different positions out there anyway, so that should be good. And, yeah, so let's get uh, Josh Richardson playing at about 34 a game. Blake Griffin got to be playing a lot to ball out. Same with uh, CJ McCollum. The sound white side got the nice, you know, Zaza's been nice this season, so he'll get some, they'll got to play a ton of minutes. And then Ish Smith is our starting point guard. I mean, TJ McConnell's a nice veteran out there himself, so he should be able to uh, do some nice things, you know, those two guys switching off. I mean, I guess we could try to potentially look for a better point guard, but I don't know what's going to happen. We still got Jose Calderon. Yeah, not doing nothing about that. Um, I guess I'm going to, do I got any more players I can put in the G League? Yes. So I want to go with Bruce Brown, Kyrie Thomas, who hasn't played at all this season for the Pistons, or Luke Kennard. Um, I don't know Luke coming off injury. It would be nice to have him be a really good six man eventually. So I think I will assign him to the Grand Rapids Drive. And the other two players, just we'll see what happens about them, right? But yeah, man. So did the team get better? I, I, th I think it did. Uh, we have, and plus we got a co you know former coach of the year right there. So three and a half star uh, perimeter centric. Uh, we got post centric, seven seconds, balance three and a half stars, pace and space. Yeah, we'll go with the perimeter centric out there. That should be fine for us. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead, man, simulate this first NBA season, see how this new look Detroit Pistons team can really do. Okay, so a record of 44 and 37. Not like the greatest record out there, but it's a playoff team. It's a step in the right direction, which is what this Pistons team needs to be out there, man. It's just like making the right choices in the end of the day. So, we got Stephen Curry, MVP. I'm not expecting, you know, Pistons. Oh, oh, Blake Griffin most improved. 25, 9, and 5. So, getting rid of drumming and replacing him with the other players uh, it was good for blake griffin at least uh made all nba second team man that's comeback player of the year baby i love seeing that okay so i'm geeked up about that we were also the third seed in the eastern conference uh let's check out the rest of these player stats here real quick so we got cj mccall oh, fantastic 25 points five assists per game man come on cj please come to this team we will love you here so much bro um we got blake griffin stat line guys keep in mind man the ratings still screwed up in 2k don't mind it. It doesn't make a difference on the game. Uh, Josh Richardson, 14 points, three rebounds, two assists. Oh, it feels good to say something good about a small four for a change when it comes to the Pistons. Sam Whiteside, I love the 16 rebounds, 14 points, two blocks per game. Ish Smith, I mean, 10, two and seven. Like, that's all I need from my point guard at this point, man. Henry Ellenson actually balling out a little bit. That's surprising. Wilson Chandler, nice on the bench. Zaza Pachulia, Luke Kennard up to a 78 overall now. So, he'll be a nice backup piece for his next season. Yeah, man, I'm happy about the squad. So... First round, we do have the Chicago Bulls. Simulate current round. Being the third seed, like, you would expect at least to get to the second round, make it an interesting series, and potentially get to the Eastern Conference on uh, only the first season. So, okay, we beat them four games. One, we do have the Boston Celtics. I don't think we're quite there yet, but uh, we'll see about that, man. We'll see about that. So, Blake Griffin dropped 26, 15, and 5. All right, Boston Celtics. Simulate current round. Got game one. Got, oh, my, oh, my God. Okay, man. Yo, Boston curse is real. Wow, dude. We actually beat them four games to zero. But now we have the first seed Toronto Raptors. I am already happy with how this first season turned out. If we if we get swept right here, I won't even care, man. I'm, I'm good with it. Got game one. 
Okay, well, I mean, we won. We beat it. Oh, my God, dude. 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 3-2, two, two, three, two, three, three, three. Okay, we got eliminated in a seven-game series. That is not a bad start to the season at all. You know, it being the Toronto Raptors and stuff like that. So, we just move on to this offseason. You know, kind of fill in the blanks here. Maybe improve at the point guard position if possible. And just go from there, man. So, uh, we are going to go to staff signing. I believe we got uh, Dwayne Casey locked up for a few seasons. Yes, we do. So, nothing too crazy there. NBA draft. Might as well see who's available. Not expecting nothing too good here due to our record. But you never really know, man. Okay, so we have the uh, 22nd pick. All right. Let's see what we got. So, we got... Luka Samich, we got Lamont Wesley, Darius Baisley. Uh, just give me a... Uh, well, I, I like the two-way power for it. Okay, yeah, give, give me a uh, Darius. I'll take Darius with my pick. He probably won't play at all. Henry Ellison's going to walk away, so he'll be our new power forward project out there. Rookie signing, 71 overall player. Team player option. Uh, Sound Whiteside did graciously actually accept his. Uh, Henry Ellison, uh, yeah, I'll bring him back. $2 million for a 75 overall, not too bad. Qualifying offers, uh, I don't really care too much about those guys. Although Zach Lofton was nice in the preseason at times, but that's about it. Okay, so we do need a point guard. Uh, I believe that Ish Smith, he might be out the books now, so uh, yes, he is. Um, so we might actually be able to find a better solution there. Like Rondo would actually be kind of cool, give us a veteran for the season. I'm going to throw him a contract, guys. I'm going to give him about $4 million a season. Uh, Darren Collison would just be nice if we got him for the cheap side of things, so we'll throw him a contract. Okay, uh, shooting guards I can afford. Um, we already got what's his name out there, so we don't really need, you know, we already got CJ McCollum. Uh, small fours, we got Josh Richardson out there. Although, you know, Wilson Chandler now gone, so we might have the option to maybe uh, get somebody else. And I think Bojan for pretty cheap would be nice. Uh, power fours probably should be good there too. Okay, so I got to decide which players I want in this case. Because um, I'm pretty sure I can't get all three. Okay, so renounced rates on Ish. Bojan, I don't really need him all that much. Um, I'm going to pro I'm gonna see if I can get both these guys actually, man. That would actually be really nice. If not, I'll take either one. And all right, so I don't have enough for Darren Collison. I end up getting Rajan Rondo. I'm cool with that. Uh, but I do need a backup center though. I forgot because now that Zaza's gone. So yeah, like a Brandon Wright, uh, Robin Lopez, Boban. Boban actually been pretty nice, man. Uh, this season. So I might actually bring him. Oh, I think I just I don't know if I can afford him though. Other centers. We got Wright, Andrew Bogle would be nice defensively, and then Wright's just always a solid guy in this game, so I might throw him an offer too, just to make sure we get at least one of those guys uh, locked up. All right, so, okay, nobody yet. Come on, man, when you got, like, all got a sign? Uh, yo, give me, uh, give me Boban. Brand Wright going to the Memphis Grizzlies. All righty, so, you know, we made a few changes out there. We got Luke Kennard, that's going to be nice off the bench too. I think we're pretty much good to go. For this offseason, I'm thinking like maybe like another small forward would be nice to get, but we still got Glenn Robinson, so we should be okay, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so this is the team we are going with for the second NBA season. Rondo at point guard, CJ McCollum, shooting guard, Josh Richardson, Blake Griffin, Hassan Whiteside. Um, out the bench, Luke Kennard now with 78 overall. Henry Ellenson decided I'll try to play him this season, see how he does for us. Uh, we got Boban Marjanovic, and also Langston Galloway has transitioned into the point guard position because we didn't really have any other better, uh, better options out there. And then, of course, Glenn Robinson will get some time at the back of a small forward position. There's the rest of the team right there for you guys to see. And, uh, yeah, like, Rondo, he's definitely a, a different player from Ish Smith, but not really all that much because both those guys are, like, pass first point guards. So he should be, a, you know, he should be a nice addition to this team. Uh, bring the veteran hustle out there. So, guys, let's go ahead and simulate this second NBA season. See if we can do even better than last, man. Maybe actually get to the NBA Finals. Okay, 49 and 32. One more game of the season, guys. We might, might be a 50-win team for the first time in I don't know how long, man. Probably since the, uh, like, Flip Saunders era when he was coach. Rest in peace him, by the way, man. Um, but, yeah, so Stephen Curry, MVP, Zion Williamson, rookie. I didn't even see if we got the final win there, man. Did we get it? Um, here's the All-NBA teams. No, uh, no Blake Griffin this time around. But uh, it's all good, bro. It's all good. We don't need him to be all that all the time. Yeah, so 50 and 32. We have the third seed yet again. In the Eastern Conference, here is the player stats on the season. So Blake Griffin, 21 points, uh, nine rebounds, four assists. We got CJ at 22 and five. So scoring down a little bit for everybody, but uh, Sound Whiteside, fantastic season, man. Like I'll, I'll take you on the Pistons, bro. You know, over Drummond right now, bro. The way you're playing like this in my game. Josh Richardson, good all around stats again. Boban, fantastic off the bench. Luke Kennard looked good. Rondo is the starter. Love the 10 assists and the two steals per game. Scoring wise, wasn't really asked to score a lot, so it's all good with that. 
uh first round we do have the indiana pacers so simulate current round see how this goes see if we can get back to the eastern conference finals or maybe it was just a fluke out there and we're not really meant to be here but the third seed state kind of states otherwise come on man okay got them four games to two we do have the seventh seed atlanta hawks being the toronto raptors so in theory that's good for me but uh at the same time it seems like the hawks always dominate in this game in the second season so i could just yeah we might just get swept now bro what the come on, how did the seventh seed and doing this oh my god what the come on man come on man come on okay detroit basketball wow oh bro <laughs> i was about to say man all right fifth seed boston celtics we did beat them last time so anything's possible and two zero two one two one two two oh come on bro how you gonna okay three three okay we got four games through we do have the golden state warriors so in my mind this rebuild is already a success man we got to the eastern conference then the finals in the second season it is the golden state warriors so it's like i'm not expecting great things although clay thompson gone and no uh bitch ass boogie so who knows like we could possibly win this simulate current rounds got game Ooh, two one two two. Oh come on oh my god well got my hopes up a little bit there i saw those first two games i was like all right we got we got this um luckily for us we do have one more season to go so I, I really don't know like any like big time signings to make i mean roundup's getting kind of old so it's like i would probably prefer him to be a backup point guard but i don't think we quite have the money to uh you know sound like a full-time point guard right now we just don't really have that and as far as like trade pieces not anybody i really want to trade all that much who's this dude he's uh anton watson all right team player options luke Kennard. okay we bring back all these guys although we're not really playing those young bloods at all but I just didn't really see how they fit into lineup in this specific rebuild, so that's why. All right, moratorium period. Oh, yeah, Sound Whiteside is gone. I did not think about that. So here's some point guards that are available. Nobody like really too exciting here. Um, shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards. Yeah, I definitely want to get Sound Whiteside back. I know it's gonna be a big contract to give to him, but at this point, you know, not a lot of other great options out there. He's been really good for us, so I'm gonna give him his money, guys, and probably regret it later on down the road. But hey it's fine so we get a sign on the team okay that's all good uh i might have to make some sort of trade too man to approve the point guard position i'm just not quite sure what move to exactly make out there let's get on the moratorium period here real quick look like probably get another small four too um all right so we got jake crowder out there he would be a nice little addition i'll snatch him up if he wants to be on the team seems like a detroit style of person duncan robinson from michigan he's a good three-point shooter uh we got power force henry ellinson we'll bring him back he's restricted so okay we're gonna get we're gonna get man come on team oh my god i guess we're not gonna get anybody nobody okay so jay crowder henry ellenson i'm good with that um we got mike james available shabazz napier he would bring a little bit more scoring to the team at least than what Arondo would do if he actually wants to come on this team i will take him all right we got him and besides for that man i, I don't really think we have too many other big time changes to make it would be nice to get like iguodala just to have like it's like a role player at times probably won't play at all for us because he's getting older and stuff but still good uh veteran leadership all right let's go ahead simulate to the beginning of the regular season so this is what the team looks like so far here's our starting power shabazz in the starting lineup i definitely gotta fix up the minutes and stuff like that um i do think this is a good opportunity to maybe try to make another trade if possible like a light like a last second you know dip for i still want to improve the point guard position man i know it's like <laughs> I don't know let me uh try a trade with i kind of want to try this anton watson out so i'm gonna toss in basie because we got henry ellinson now uh i'm gonna toss in jay crowder future first round draft pick we should be able to get somebody decent for that you would think but who knows marcus thorne 79 overall player might just have to uh, get him real quick anyway shy gilligas alexander um his rating he's not really improved as a player but not bad numbers right there um i might actually take a go on him we got ashton hoggins bogdan bogdanovich josh hart Tyler Ulis, isn't he like he's 5'10, but uh we also get Daniel Tice out of it. Tyler Harrell, Javon Carter. Alright, so yeah, not anybody I'm like too crazy about. Jalen Hand, 76 overall player. We got that going for us. I know we got I thought he was a bit a little bit of a better passer than that. Uh, let's see if we can find anybody via this way that I would be willing to get. Oh, well, like a Kyle Lowry. What would I okay? No trade offers for him. Chris Paul. Probably won't see nothing there. Alright, we got some more point guards. Jalen Hands, we got out there, man. Yo, Damian Lilly. Come on, Damian. Okay, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I might just roll with what I have and go with that. Markel Fultz. Uh, I gotta get, I'm not giving up CJ to get Markel Fultz. Just, I don't know, man. Just not in the cards for that. Colin Sexton. No. Kyrie Irving. Terry Rozier still on this team? He is, yeah, he is. Okay, Terry Rozier would actually be a nice, perfect fit. Uh, if we could find a friendly trade. 
Darius Baisley, Henry Allenson, that might be the move there, guys. Yeah, that's it, man. Darius, yeah, we're going we to get Terry Rose here. We're going to get Scary Terry to be our starting point guard. Okay. So, cool, man. Cool. Great addition. And that will be our bench unit. Uh, CJ, uh, or, uh, Jay Crowder can also play the power forward position. So, it's like, I'm sure Anton can also. He's six. Oh, yeah. Totally, man. So, it's not like we lost anything big there. Trading away Ellenson. And this is the team. I like it. I think this team got uh, got better from last season. So let's go ahead and simulate this third and final season and see if this is the year we can win at the NBA championship. Okay, so we're not going to be a 50-win team this NBA season. We're pretty dang near it. So I think it's going to once again take a little luck in the playoffs. You know, a few upsets happening and just things going our way um, for us to really have a chance to win the championship here. But I'm still happy with how this, you know, rebuild's gone regardless. There's all the awards. And I don't see any Pistons on here. Oh, wait, wait, we got a sound. Well, he said all NBA third team at the age of uh, 109. Okay. Cool, cool, man. Player stats on to the season. So, Blake Griffin, 22 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. CJ at about 19 and 6. It's not well, he 17 and 16 and 2 blocks per game. Rozier was a fantastic addition. Josh Richardson, not really improving his stats, but still solid numbers regardless. The bench unit was cool. All right, first round, we do have the Chicago Bulls. So, simulate current round right here. See how this goes. And it might just be a loss, guys. Uh, okay, 2-1. Come on, man. Come on, guys. 2-2. Two, two. Three. Okay, it's not looking good. We got to go back to back. 3-3. Three, three. And, oh, okay, we beat them four games to three. Um, Unfortunately, though, the uh, Atlanta Hawks are now the number one seed in here. So, it goes to show just how much the NBA has really changed. And, yeah, once Trey Young gets going on this game, it's hard to beat them, guys. 2-2, two, 3-2. Two, and we lose four games to two in the second round. They also got Julius Randle. I can't say I dislike that fit. It's actually pretty nice. But Trey Young on this game, man, just dominant. Um, regardless, you know, we got to the Eastern Conference once. We got to the finals, lost to the Warriors. Can't do much about that. Got to the second round. So, and we also got the Suns and the Hornets in the NBA Finals. I don't think we'll ever see that in real life, man. But hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Keep in mind, I am posting, uh, you know, rants and reactions on my second channel if you're interested in those. Be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and peace out.